In today's video, I'll be taking a look at Psalm 69 and the Davidic propaganda, which may indicate that David was not a son of Jesse, and also the post-exilic propaganda as well. We'll get started on the text here, starting with the Davidic propaganda. Uh, again, just like Psalm 59 that we'd done in a previous video, it's going to be defending the innocence of David. Some bad stories were out there about him, and so David's... Uh, trying to counter that. So saying they hate him without cause, they oppose him with lies, he did not steal. Uh, the post-exilic uh, redactor doesn't like that. He's going to assign some guilt to David because uh, it explains, it helps explain why Jews were exiled to, to Babylon because they were guilty. Uh, and then back to the Davidic source here, uh, talking about how David was estranged from his brothers, a stranger to his mother's son. This may indicate that he was not a son of Jesse, and that so this is trying to counter that idea. Alternatively, he was a son of Jesse, but that he had a different mother. Uh, and then the post-exilic is going to uh, talk about zeal for your house, which indicates a temple, uh, which would indicate post-exilic framework. And then songs of mockery by the habitually drunk about David, trying to poison the well here by calling them drunk. And then David's call for vengeance is going to fall short of calling for death, whereas the post-exilic is going to want to kill everyone. And then this here, downplaying sacrifice, I would say, normally I'd say that would be written during the time uh, the temple was destroyed. But here it is pretty pretty set uh, in the post-exilic framework, so I've assigned it as post-exilic as well. Uh, and then finally, just reassuring everyone who's in Zion and Judah that they're going to stay there. They're not going to uh, get concrete again like they were with Babylon. So if you want to check out uh, this text for yourself, be sure to click the link below.